What's up, guys? You're welcome back to Physics Solution. I'm super excited to have you with me here again. It's my pleasure to have you guys here with me. Thanks for coming here again to watch my video. I really appreciate you. And for those who always drop a comment for me, I do appreciate you all. Thank you so much. That's what's giving me motivated, man. Okay, let's quickly move on to this question and solve it the way we always do. Okay, it says that a mass of 0.5 kilogram is wheeled in a vertical circle of radius 2 meters at a steady rate of 2 revolutions per second. Calculate the centripetal force. Okay, uh, I believe you all know the first thing we always do, which is to bring out the parameters. Let's just do that right away. Okay, the mass here, our mass is equal to 0.5 kilogram this has is work let me give you a better experience so the mass is of a kilogram it's wheeled in a vertical circle of radius two meters it is better yeah two meters at a steady rate of two revolution per second now if we look at this very well this might wanna confuse you but don't get confused it's just the normal thing we know it says two revolution per second. Uh, this, uh, what is this quantity? Two revolution per second. What is it? Let me bring it out this way. We are having revolution over time taken. And revolution, we can, that is the number of oscillation, right? That is n, then time taken is time. Right? So what is this? This is exactly what we know as frequency. So that two there is different to what? To frequency so that two ref per second is our, our frequency now we're to find the centripetal force capital F don't confuse your small f which is frequency to your capital F which is force don't get it twisted so we're to find the centripetal force uh, and we know our formula is f equals to m v squared over r okay we are given our mass we are giving R, but we don't know our V. Okay, can we get our V from here? V equals to what? Uh, okay, let me come over here. V is equals to omega R. We don't know omega also. Alright, we can get our omega also. Okay, let's just get our omega first then. Since we have our omega is 2 pi F, right? We, we have our F, so okay, we can get omega. So omega is equals to 2 pi f so 2 pi times 2 right so we have 4 pi so our omega is 4 pi so we can get our v now so v is equals to 4 pi times r which is 2 so we got our that is 8 pi that's meters per seconds so we cannot bring this down here we can say m okay let me just bring this let me just okay m uh let me just bring this straight in m is what 0 0.5 multiplied by v is 8 pi all squared over r and then the r is 2 right okay let me so so f is now let's calculate this in the calculator okay so 0 0.5 multiplied by 8 pi 8 pi all squared over 2. This will give us the answer of 157.9. So our centimeter force is 157.9. Let me write this again. So, okay. so it's 157.9. Five seven point nine Newton. Yes, and that is a very simple one. So this is the answer. I believe you should understand this very well. And if you want to go over the video again for more clarification, uh, do drop a comment for me in the comment section and leave a sweet comment so that I'm gonna be happy to your comments. Okay, I'm so excited to be here with you. Thanks for listening to me. See you again.